Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Bull from the Bulls channel. Um, here today, sitting in my office slash kitchen table. Um, it's just another wet day out there. It's been raining for the last couple of days. The ground is saturated. Um, I went out for a short period of time this morning just to uh, feed my rabbits, and uh, then I just just brought it right back in. It's just 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 too. Um, too wet out in the garden to be out there. Um, so I'm sitting down here going over planning out. It's getting close to spring. Spring will be here before you know it, stuff like that. I know it's just before Christmas, but spring will be here before you know it um, for you to start all your plants and stuff like that. If you start your plants indoors and stuff like that. So I'm sitting here I going over my seed catalog um, looking at all the things that uh, I'm going to grow and getting ideas of some stuff that I may want to take out of my garden that didn't do so good last year that I can replace with um, other plants and stuff like that. Um, so I went over my seed catalog this morning and I listed down all the things that I'm going to plant. This is a whole bunch of them I already had. A whole bunch of ideas of stuff that I normally plant every single year so um, those will I'll plant again however I did add some some things to my list so I'm gonna go ahead and go over those things more toward the end of my video but um, so I went over my seed catalog um, and also I was, uh, I was in my seed catalog also has things about supplies and it's just a reminder that um, make sure that you have all your supplies you need so you can um, start your garden on time and you're not running back to Home Depot and Lowe's multiple times uh, picking up supplies. So make sure that you know you have your shovels, your rakes, your, your, your hoes, uh, that you have your fertilizers, that you have your manures, your car manure, whatever you use. Also, to make sure that you have uh, planting cups, make sure you have uh, cedar starter, pot and soil. Um, so just go over your list so that way you have, you have all these things in hand. Um, also, if you garden all the time and you have the space for it, uh, start a compost pile in you know, a corner of your property. Um, just, you know... Anything, anything that you have in your garden that's that's green, um, that dies off, just throw it into your compost pile. Over time, this stuff will, all, will break down and it'll turn back into great, great soil for you. Um, I have about five or six compost piles throughout my property, and um, and they're all in different stages of decomposition. Um, so, I keep my garden beds well composted with all these materials and nutrients and stuff like that that go into your soil. And um, so you have uh, your web life inside your, um, your soil, your mycorrhizas, your fungi, and your bacteria and all that stuff, which uh, your plants need to thrive on. Well, that's all your worms that love eating all that matter. Um, so it's so important to have a compost pile. I mean, um, my garden beds and my plants just wouldn't be what they are without without a good compost. Um, if you if you if you get bags of wood chips, if you need to. Uh, you know, put a layer over your 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 garden beds to maintain moisture, um, or some straw, some some straw, some hay, whatever you use. Um, talking about garden beds, make sure that you don't wait to the last minute to 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 improve your soil. You should be improving your soil all the time, all year long with um, with certain materials. Um, 
Make sure that you, you, you well ahead of time, you put your cow manure down, you put uh, your peat moss, your, your, your lime if you use it. Um, make sure that you have your garden beds in sunny locations. You make sure that you have a sunny location. It's very important. If you don't have your, your, your garden beds where you plant your stuff, and your plants are not getting an uh, adequate amount of time of sunlight, they're just not going to grow for you. And uh, that's how a lot of, a lot of uh, people uh, stop, stop growing stuff because they stop gardening because um, they say, oh, I put my stuff out there and it's just not growing for you, for, for me. Um, you, need to, you need to plan. You need to write stuff down, um, what you're going to grow, where it's going to grow at and stuff like that. It's just like going going to school. You want good grades. You need to study. You need to study. If you don't study, you're gonna get bad grades. So just like gardening, you don't you don't study. You don't look at videos and read read up on plants and stuff like that. You you're just not gonna have. Uh, you're not gonna be a successful gardener as you would be without doing those things. Um, other things. So. Make sure you have all your your, your your rakes and your holes and all that stuff that you need, uh, your your, your cow manures, uh, your fertilizers, and all 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 the things. Your cups. Um, if you start out when you're gonna go do your plants, you need to start out eight, twelve weeks ahead of time, so um, that you have all your plants that are going into your garden and stuff like that. Don't start certain plants too early or too late. It's, um, you know, you need to start your plants when you're supposed to start them. So it's a good idea. I have, um, I use the uh, vegetable garden calendar. It lets me know exactly what plants to plant at what time during, during what month. And what what crops so what crops I'm gonna plant so that I know I'm gonna plant them on time. They're not gonna be too late. They're the proper plants for that proper time. So um, if you don't have a, a vegetable garden um, calendar, uh, I suggest that you probably uh, start using one. Um, so anyway, uh, plan your garden out. Write stuff down so you don't forget and you're not making so many trips to uh, to Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, as I said earlier, um, I'm, I'm, I, I have a big garden. I grow a lot of stuff every year. Again, like I start them at different periods of time. Even though I have a lot of stuff, I start them at different periods of time. So that way I can bring in all these vegetables that we enjoy uh, eating throughout the season. Um, I, me, myself, I plant bell peppers, I plant jalapeno peppers, I plant sweet, sweet little mini peppers, which my rabbits just love. I love growing them. I grow excellent ones just, just to feed them to my rabbits. I grow pole beans, I grow bush beans, I grow several types of cu cucumbers. This, this year, uh, I'm gonna grow some of those small pickling cucumbers as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some pickling. Um, I grow uh, black beauty eggplants. I grow cherry tomatoes, plum tomatoes, um, uh, better boy tomatoes. I grow zucchini. I grow yellow squash. I grow kakutsa squash, which is a Sicilian squash. These squashes get to be about three feet long. And I like to make a nice soup with them that um, I enjoy. I grow uh, patty pan squash. I grow butternut squash. I grow sweet peas. I grow potatoes. I grow them in, in garden beds. And I also grow them in pots, um, which do real good. Um, I, I grow cantaloupes. I grow uh, watermelons. I grow uh, asparagus, which I already have out in the garden for several years, um, which is perennial, comes up every year. Uh, I grow broccoli. I grow carrots. A lot for my, mainly for my uh, rabbits. I grow radishes. 
I also I grow cilantro because I like to make uh, burritos and love to have that cilantro in my uh, in my burritos. Uh, I have sage on my property, which is a perennial. I have rosemary, which is another perennial. That I have, I have several plants throughout my property. Um, I grow basil. Um, I, I have parsley. I grow kale. I grow a couple different types of kale. I grow spinach. Um, I grow Swiss chard. I have uh, also a couple other um, herbs that. Um, uh, oregano and thyme that I have plants that grow out through my uh, throughout my property. So um, those are a lot of the things that I grow, and like I said, um, I grow them in different stages of time so that I'm able to bring bring these plants into the house um, and enjoy. Um, if you never tried gardening. Uh, you can start off small, you know, you can start off on your patio, you can uh, get yourself a couple of buckets, and, and there's so many things that you can grow just on your patio in a small area. Uh, just make sure you have some, some sunlight, get some good potting soil, and um, and you can grow tomatoes, and you can grow you can grow zucchinis and squashes in, in pots. Um, you can grow uh, uh, letters, letters and stuff like that, all kinds of different uh, letters and stuff like that. You can grow herbs like that. Most, most of the stuff that I mentioned, you can actually grow in pots. So um, look at videos to help you out, to help you out and stuff like that with, with your garden and stuff like that, if you're a new gardener and stuff like that. So, um, and it's just, it's just so much fun. It's just so much fun watching these plants grow that you started and, um, and in the time that you go to harvest, you'll be so proud of yourself, uh, that you're able to, uh, bring these plants in and enjoy them and eat them. And you don't have to go down to the store and buy these things when during the summertime, springtime, you can grow these things for yourself. Um, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you liked the video. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Peace from both.